when you're talking about LCA, what exactly is it that you're talking about? LCA is a kind of um, a discipline, if you like, with its own rules um, and approach, which is not always understood. People just want to see that kind of number as low as possible. Now, the easiest way to get a low number is to miss things out of your number. Um, but if you really understand LCA, then you'll understand that that's not an option. There is a scope and an actual inventory there that needs fulfilling and needs to be understood. So I think that is the the primary challenge, if you like, is, is defining that scope and and educating not just the LCA practitioner, but people around them, what those numbers actually mean. Um, if you look at Brian and Lead, they have different scopes, levels, uh, RICs. We all have different scopes. They're similar, but they're not the same. Um, another big part of it, when you uh, when you look into this further, when you look under the under the bonnet of a result, if you like, is how much of that scope has actually been um, addressed in an assessment. Um, and currently, we don't have the the kind of the regulatory requirements that anybody has the time or the um, I suppose they have the inclination, but it's the time really to to understand those figures and, and get under the bonnet and understand what they actually mean in relation to what are the requirements of whichever regime it is that's, that's putting those requirements on them.